Well, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for joining me today on another uh, another ride out. Well, first ride review. This uh, today I'm on the the 2022 Honda Monkey 125cc. And I'll tell you what my first my first impressions are. I'm gonna have to say it. That seat straight away is probably one of the most comfortable seats I've sat on, other than my sofa at home. <laughs> and uh, actually the gold wing yeah. so uh, yeah turn them indicators off yeah I'm, I'm actually quite excited like I said I've, and I have said it many many times before you don't necessarily have to be out riding 1000 cc sport bikes or even you know 600 cc whatever you can have loads of fun on a, on a motorcycle I mean this this uh, machine the Honda Monkey just slow down a little bit there uh, I think this first out introduced in 1970 so uh yeah nearly as old as me <laughs> but yeah I, I actually do remember these because uh, a friend of mine he had one and we used to um sort of ride it around the fields and that many many years ago and we and that you know they're the days where we had so much uh, we used to have so much fun on these little little um you know single cylinder bikes but yeah i'm loving it i'm loving it so far lovely color this one as well really comfortable great fun great fun i can see it already feel it already you know um mirrors yeah obviously not visibility not too good for you those mirrors uh, a little bit vibey being a single i love this little clock here as well actually when i fired the clock up uh, fired the bike up a minute ago you get a couple of little eyes <laughs> little monkey eyes spin on there uh yeah got all the info you need really there uh, fuel gauge at the top, speedo there, uh, marks, and he done 40 miles this, so I'm going to have to take it very easy today uh, and behave myself. L loads of chrome on here as well. I will do a walk around, full walk around of the bike in the usual way. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll run through the full specs of the bike. Hello, sir. Nice nod from the bike there. Yeah, uh, nice and light on the clutch there as well. No issues there. Love all this chrome. Just give you something to polish on a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> button cluster, button uh, switch gear and that. But yeah, fairly basic here. I won't bid the horn at the moment, not with this traffic about, but you basically got your, your high beam, it's on your main beam there. Uh, horn and indicators on that on the left hand side there. Right hand side you've obviously got your kill switch and your st and your below beneath it is your start button. So yeah very very basic there it's actually still got the L plates on this fully learner legal obviously this and uh, I'll tell you it would make an absolute stonk river commuter by this I think it's got a 5.6 litre fuel tank so uh, you've got to be looking at 150 miles per gallon from this uh, little engine I think it's the same engine as the uh, the Honda Grom uh, I mean this one being this one's a Euro 5 compliant so it's um, yeah it's had quite a few little change. well, I, I say a little, it's had quite a few changes. So I think this one has got, um, certainly got a comfortable seat. I don't know what the other one was, but I'm loving that. I could sit on this all day. <laughs> really nice. Ever so nimble. You could actually, you could have so much fun and I can see why people do, do uh, you know, sort of take to these little, little bike, bikes. Absolutely brilliant. Got to go ever so easy really like i say it's, it's only done 40 miles so yeah i love the traditional it's got like the traditional honda sort of badge that there, there as well ah, lovely absolutely lovely we'll test the brakes out nothing behind me too close anyway front brake rear brake yeah got the single disc on the bike um yeah can't really grumble too much so far Ever so comfortable on the old suspension there as well. Come on, round you come. Don't want to rev it too crazily. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, little uh, st stalky mirrors here. Very nice, very nice. These, are, you know, you can customise these bikes as well. I mean, plenty of. Um, opportunities to do that 
but I just, I like, I like I say, stay, stay tuned and I'll do you a walk around the bike. But I love the look of this, you know, the retro. Uh, I don't think that's changed too much from all them years ago. And the sort of the general styling of the bike. It's got full LED indicators and lighting on this bike as well, all round. So you can't really grumble about that. Um, yeah. Very nice. What's it like around this roundabout here? I say the tyres probably aren't even scrubbed in, so got to go ever so easy. The wheels on here are the the ten spoked cast aluminium, twelve inch wheels, uh, and they're fairly old chunky tyres on here as well. Yeah, very nice. I'll just test the horn out when we get along here a little bit. Don't want to scare the man there. Yeah, absolutely ample, ample on the on the monkey. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you could have a proper crack with crack on this uh, with your mates. Very nice suspension. Absolutely very plush. Uh, it's got a fairly bumpy road here and um, not causing me too much worry or bother. Very nice. Very very flickable. Yeah, great fun. Great fun. Yeah, Euro 5 compliant as well, the bike. Uh, and what I also, what I'd, like I say, I will reiterate, I know what I love about, you know, th this sort of class and style of biking and this sort of, you know, being a single seat, a single um, cylinder 125, is the cost of ownership, you know, uh, insurance, even for the young youngsters. Um, you know, fuel, what with their current fuel situation at the moment, you could probably fill this tank up for just over a tenner at the moment. Um, it's not to say that it's not going to go up, uh, well it's probably going to go up even more so it's fairly ridiculous at the moment but that's one way in getting around you know if you do commute to work or whatever it's an ideal opportunity to uh, save yourself a few quid comes in three colours as well this one and I love this one I love it uh, the, the blue love this little peanut uh, tank as well like I say, I'll pull over just up here and I'll give you a thorough walk round of this lovely little monkey machine. <laughs> Slow it down a bit. Just then brakes again. Yeah, there's nothing wrong there. Not, not for the, the weight of the bike anyway. Um, I think it's only just over 100 kilos there, the curb weight. I'll run through the exact figures in a minute when we pull over. Just pull in just up here. I'm going to give you a thorough walk around of this machine. I'm quite looking forward to it myself, actually. <laughs> oh, oh. Turn them indicators off. No problem finding neutral there at all. Nothing. She ticks over nice as well. Yeah. So you've got all the information there. Fuel gauge. And obviously your speed there. Your mileage. Um, yeah, so engine warning lights there, neutral. Let's try, so we go down first, up into neutral. Yeah, second, down into neutral. Easy enough. Engine warning light there. There's no hazard lights on here, I've noticed. And no hazards. So, uh, yeah, uh, high beam light there, and ABS as well. It's got ABS side stand. Very easy. Right then, let's have a little noise, noise test, shall we? I love all this chrome on here as well. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, I'll turn her off, take the old mitts off, and then I'll give you a full walk around of the machine. Right, well here she is, the Honda, the 2022 Honda 125cc Monkey. Like I said before, the original was back in the 1970s. And I never actually owned one, but um, yeah, I always sort of contemplated buying one. Uh, anyway, the engine is a, it's the new Euro 5, so it's uh, the efficient type with uh, a five-speed gearbox on this one. Uh, the previous model being the, uh, the four-speed. So it's the air-cooled single overhead cam, four-stroke, two-valve. Holds just over one litre of oil, I believe, this one. So maximum power is 6.9 kilowatt at 7,000 RPM. So it's around 9.25 brake horsepower. It's not loads, but it is only a, you know, a fairly light bike. Max torque, 11 newton meters at uh, 5.0. 1250 rpm 
the dimensions if you're interested in all these figures uh, you never know you might want to stick it on the back of a camper van or something <laughs> it's uh well the length of the bike is 1710 millimeters the width of the bike 755 millimeters wheelbase 1155 millimeters and the total height of the bike is 1029 the trail of the bike is 82 millimeters that's the trail of the bike ground clearance is 160 millimeters that's the ground clearance of the bike so yeah like i say you never know you often see these on the back of camper vans uh curb weight of the bike that's the wet weight is 107 kilograms so it's not not a massively heavy bike at all um yeah it's got the peanut uh, fuel tank there as well with a 5.6 litre capacity giving according to the honda website uh, 67 kilometers a litre or well, with my maths is around i think it's around about 180 89 something like that uh, miles per gallon i might be wrong but that's a lot of uh, a lot of miles anyway the wheels like i said before the 10 spoke cast aluminium uh, on the front there and the rear as well the brakes on here the front brakes is a single uh, disc 220 millimeter it's also got the imu based abs as well so yeah you can see the abs ring in there actually nice little guard there as well over the suspension there the rear is a single 190 millimeter disc as well with uh, actually nissan calipers there as well single pot caliper and the uh, nissan twin pot caliper on the front there suspension is the upside down type uh, with 100 millimeters of axle travel and uh, yeah i love it like anodized uh, forks there not the, not massive suspension but you don't actually need uh huge suspension to worry about on this uh, on this machine uh, the shock the rear shocks are the twin shock type um, with 104 millimeters of travel on there and I found that very very comfortable the uh, suspension on there the lighting uh, is full LED and we'll turn them on now actually I'll turn the lights on you see the eyes there blinking at you <laughs> so full LED lighting all around got like the halo type uh, light in there as well I'll stick it on main beam Uh, it probably won't come on until I start the bike actually. So uh, indicators. Let's have a look at the indicators. Yeah, they're LED indicators as well. So uh, yeah, very good. Let's have a look at the rear. Yeah, nice. So it's got no hazard lights on here. So uh, maybe they're not required. I'm not sure on this. Uh, size of bike like i say the dash is fairly minimalistic uh although retro style we we'll turn it on she springs into life there's the eyes blinking at you so you've got the fuel gauge across the top there the speed speedo your current miles there or your total miles Our abs light is on that'll go off when, when the bike springs into life you don't need to pull the clutch in on this either when you start the bike let's turn them lights on now see if they come on with the bike running oh yeah it's actually in the yeah it's actually looks like it's got two eyes there and a, and a mouth i don't know whether that's just me i don't know but <laughs> let's have a little rev of the bike not go easy like i say it's, it's a brand new bike this one so ticks over nice as well being the uh, electronic fuel injected turn the bike off comes in three colors as well uh, so yeah three colors banana yellow pearl glittering blue which is this one I love this color and pearl nubler red there she is I love all the chrome on there as well loads of chrome like I say you could polish that at the weekends very nice no the massive gap there in, in there between the seat and the tank as well really nice finish here with the paint they've uh, lacquered over the stickers traditional honda badge there as well yeah i'm impressed very nice we make a perfect learner bike sold sticker on there i've just been informed it's not been sold that's probably ready for when the person snaps it up it's not going to hang around for long i don't think 
Uh, it's got a helmet lock as well here. If you want to lock your helmet on here. These are quite, you don't often see these anymore, to be honest. But yeah, anyway, there she is. The Honda Monkey 125cc. Well, sun's now coming back out, so I think we should jump on and ride some more. Yeah, she ticks over lovely. Uh, should be really, it's a fuel injected machine. So, right, let's jump on, side stand up, and off we go. ABS light should go out, <laughs> he says. Yeah, ABS light is out. We'll take the left here. There we go. Indicator off. What a pleasure to ride. <laughs> I'll tell you what it does, it puts a smile on your face. <laughs> Definitely puts a smile on your face. Uh, it kind of takes me back to my youth a little bit. You know, you appreciate the actual, the whole uh, aspect of riding, riding a motorcycle. And the, you know, the freedom that it gives you. I'm waffling on a bit now, but... <laughs> Gearbox nice, no issues with the gearbox, up and down there, up and down the box. The clutch is very, very light. Um, no issues there. Um, can't really think of kind of any negatives to say about the bike really. Well, oh, nearly got knocked out by a pigeon then. Uh, I don't know, maybe could have done with a little bit more information on the on the on the display there, but what more do you would you really want on a on a little uh, bike like this sometimes simpler is better you know and uh, I can feel that exhaust there as well poking out well the heat shield anyway not really getting any heat off it as such not noticeable anyway probably keep it nice and warm in the winter take the left here what she like to corner I don't want to go too mad like I say these tyres are, are new tyres so it's basically just been PDI'd I think so yeah, get yourself down to your local dealer. Grab yourself a test ride. Really nice. <laughs> great fun. Absolutely great fun. Well, if you're new to the channel, it'd be great to have you along. Consider subscribing. Hit that old notification bell. Plenty more bike content coming in the future. Plenty more reviews, ride outs. And uh, yeah, like I say, it'd be great to have you along. What a wonderful day it is today, other than uh, it's a little bit overcast, but I don't really care, it's dry. So, uh, yeah, can't moan at all today. Oh, so it's fully learn illegal, this bike as well, so, you know, as long as you do your CBT in the UK, here in the UK anyway, um, that will cover you to ride one of these 125s on, uh, on a provisional licence. I believe. I mean, they change the law so often. Um, yeah. Well, thanks for thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you on the next video. So take care. See you soon.